Gentlemen, welcome back to the Tej Hanley starting a business, building a brand vlog. Sorry, this is digging into me. Vlog. This one is big, number 91, and we're back in Atlanta. So last week was a lot of fun. The meetings that we had, having you guys actually come along and meet everybody was incredible. And you guys seemed to really dig that, except one of you, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but it was awesome. It was so great being there and seeing everything and meeting Josh. That was actually the first time I met Josh. And so it was great, you know, that I'd, I'd hear him or we'd speak over the phone, but actually getting some FaceTime meeting. There's just something so like therapeutic and real about going and seeing the operation because it's crazy how much it's grown just from the first time Rob and I actually went uh, to Chicago, met Kelly and got a tour of the space. I mean, things have changed. The amount of products have changed. Everything is just, it, it's, it's just gone a little bit bonkers. So a little bit of updating first before we get into what I really want to talk about today. Something's been bothering me. <laughs> You're in for it. Um, little updating. Some things that happened. Um, the, the website has been transferred over to Shopify and that thing is quick. We're working out some bugs. We're working out some kinks. We emailed everybody saying, hey guys, it's live. You got to reset your password or, or, or pick your old password again. You just got to active basically just look for your look for an email from us in your spam folder your deleted folder you might have deleted it but we sent everybody an email whether or not you were paused or or active or canceled i think i think <laughs> don't hold me to this but i think we sent everybody an email saying yo upgrade we're live and things are going well still working out some issues some of the address character issues for some of our overseas friends and, and subscribers we're dealing with, but uh, if you have any questions or issues with the new account, not your new, yeah, it's a new account, nothing else changed other than your, your password in order to access it, give us an email at info at and we'll be able to help you out. This isn't the place, the vlog is not the place to post comments about your account because it will not help you. We can't answer them, we won't answer them. Um, what else happened? When we were in Chicago on Monday, we had we we hired a a I don't know if it's an advisor or an I don't know who he, his name is Keith and essentially Keith has worked for a bunch of pretty big businesses and he has helped them plan and strategize the thing that Keith usually usually Keith comes in sort of at the later stages of a business when they're getting ready to sell to another company or be acquired and they want to position themselves and make sure everything structurally and from a, a corporate standpoint is set up he comes in and, and helps but Kelly knows him and he's like yo this guy is like crazy smart he understands he's been educated at like Harvard or like he has like 27 degrees he's an attorney he's done this he's done that and we have hired him to sort of do an overview and a, a basically an analysis of our business. Everything from our management to the industry and what we're doing and how we could improve and, and, and a little bit of strategy. But really it's just taking a deeper dive on the company, Tej Hanley, and helping us basically streamline things. And so one of the things that happen, or that happens, or he does, is he goes and actually spends some time talking to all of us individually, so that he can ask questions, get our input on what you know we feel as weaknesses, strengths, what we feel everybody's doing well, where we feel there's opportunity for improvement. And so yesterday was was my call, and uh, it felt so good. <laughs> it honestly was great because he sort of. He's an unbiased third party perspective and that's one of the beautiful things about hiring consultants or somebody from outside of us because it's, you know, you can sort of let your guard down and you can be honest and that's sort of what you need to do in order for him to help the business grow and stay on track and really do what it, it is intended to do which is grow. 
And so it was really great. I felt like a million bucks. Originally, I was like, hey, Keith, I got 30 minutes. But 30 minutes came and went like that. And I'm like, hey, I got more time. You got more time? And so we talked a little bit more. And um, I just spit if you saw that fly. Sorry. <laughs> it hit my glasses. That's awesome. Coffee break. So it felt great. It was, um, it, felt, it felt incredible. And I'm really excited to see what he comes back with. He's going to have recommendations. Now, the thing that everybody sort of has to be ready for is that some of his recommendations may not be, you know, 100% like awesome for me. Like he might be like, Aaron, you need to do X, Y, and Z. Um, it's been brought to my attention that, that you really take criticism poorly or whatever it is. And I know that I have my weaknesses, but I also know what my job is. There's a very clear, I have a very clear sort of direction and I know what I need to do. From day one, I knew what my job was. And so who knows? We'll, we'll see what else he has to say, but it's really great to have somebody help us help ourselves, if that makes sense. And he sat in on the meeting all day on Monday. And so he was throwing ideas out. And, and some of the ideas I liked, some of the ideas I wasn't really wild about. The, the interesting thing about our business, as opposed to a lot of the other businesses that he has helped, is that we're e-commerce all day long. And so it's a different animal. It's a different beast. And so there's nuance and there's, there's things that you need to understand that's not just straight up, you know, it, it's different. It's, it's just there, there are different things. There's different... It's just, it's just different than some of the businesses that he's worked for. And so there's going to be a learning curve for, for Keith in order to really identify what we're doing and, and how we're you know, utilizing social media and all that good stuff. It's a three-month engagement. So he's going to be basically working for us for about three months, present this, and then he's going to be, I think, out. I don't know what the plan is after that. But it's very important. The business lesson and takeaway is that sometimes it's, it's critical to get somebody else to give you feedback or to take a deeper dive and look at what you're doing, who has experience in this, who has helped other companies grow to the point of being acquired or selling or whatever. Now, I'm not saying that that's what our goal is, but I'm saying, you know, we are aware of the industry and we are aware of the space in which we occupy. And what we're doing is really special and, and I won't be surprised if, if some time down the road some companies actually want to buy us. And so, you know, you just need to make sure that you're in the best position possible. Also, not just selling, raising money. If we decide that in order to grow, we need to raise, you know, millions of dollars or something like that, in order to get that. and in order for us not to get diluted like crazy, we need to have a really solid structure and make sure that everything's in place so that we're ready. If we wanted to scale, we need to be ready. And so he's there to sort of help. Have we talked a lot about Keith? Let's move on. Commercial has been cast. Our commercial for the Tijanli, like big top level, top funnel video has been cast. And it was awesome. The, the company Guy Bauer that we're using scouted a location. The house that we're using is like this old like craftsman style in Chicago. It's incredible. We've got all of the cast picked out. I cannot wait to see this video. You guys are going to love it. It's really fun. And I'm not going to be a part of it. I'm not even going to be in it. And it's actually kind of nice. I'm getting all these emails going back and forth between the Guy Bauer agency and Tiege Hanley and Josh and coordination. And I'm just like... <laughs> Have fun. I've sort of said my piece. The script went through a few different sort of variations or iterations, but uh, it's, it's awesome. And I really think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a home run. I hope it is. It's going to be funny. There is going to be humor involved, but it's not too over the top and it's definitely not Dollar Shave Club. And that's something that we were ultra aware of. It, it couldn't be because that's kind of what everybody's doing and it's just become sort of stupid. All the, all the copycats and, and we're definitely not a copycat company and, and so we need, to, we need to do things a little bit different. But there's going to be humor because humor is, is funny and, and guys respond well to humor. And so there is an element of that in there. But that's cranking. We're cooking, I think, I don't know when the expected completion date is, but the cool thing about this script, the, the video is going to be a little bit longer. It's going to be over two minutes long. But 
the, the, one, one of the conversations that we had when we were discussing this was, isn't that a little bit too long? And Guy was like, look, here's the deal. Let's film it. We can always shrink it. We can always cut. And so Guy actually produced and, and sent us some scripts for these little chopped down versions. Like we've got this long form one that's sort of like all the bells and whistles and everything, but then we've got a 90 second, a 60 second, a 30 second, and I even think like a 15 second version. And so they're awesome. This agency I, I'm super impressed with and I'm excited to see what they produce because some of the stuff they've done has been incredible and awesome. What has not been awesome or what is not awesome is one of the comments that one of you left on last vlog. So to set it up, last vlog, if you guys haven't watched it, it's me taking the camera, going around, Tiege Hanley, headquarters, showing everything, showing the boxes, the racks of products, and then interviewing the people that are there, which that is a very important point, the people that are there. Well, in the age of everybody so triggered over freaking everything, we got a comment from LDC said, and, and are these the guys, I'm gonna, just going to read it, are these the guys that package the products alone, question mark, or are the Hispanic workers the, or that obviously don't matter enough to you to include in the vlog? So basically, our friend is accusing us of being like racist. I don't, dude, I don't need, like the term racist. Like it's gotten so ridiculous <laughs> in terms of everybody just throwing it out everywhere everything's racist that it, it's kind of like the boy who cried wolf in my opinion it's like <laughs> really racism like the definition of racism is is all about you know believing that your race is superior to another or another race is superior to other races our friend was basically saying that we felt that we were superior and it and and we didn't show the Mexican workers or whomever he's, uh, was it the, was, did he say Mexican? Hispanic. Hispanic workers that were, you know, that were packing the boxes. And this comment offended me, like, to my core. And when I first read it, I, I wanted to fire back something, not necessarily the most, you know, diplomatic, but I do understand that you know, this is, is his reality. And so once I sort of calmed down, I filmed a YouTube video, <laughs> which it hasn't posted yet. That's a little more, you know, a little more personal. This I got to keep, you know, because I understand that it is, it's a brand. And, and this is his perception. We didn't delete the comment because I feel like it's important to address. This is a perfect example of having a little bit of information and making wild accusations. If our friend had actually watched the vlog from day one all the way up, which is, is a tough task because we're already on 90 and, and this would take a long time, he would have heard the numerous times when I talked about Mario and the incredible team that Mario has assembled that comes after their day jobs to teach Hanley to pack boxes. He would have known that we love, need, and are so incredibly proud of the job that they do, and they are as much of a part of Tiege Hanley as everybody that, is, that, is, that, is, that has their hands on Tiege Hanley, including you. The issue is that they weren't there when we were filming the vlog. They come in at night. You know who else wasn't there? The chemist. Do we feel he's below us? No. The lab, the people in the lab, the, the, the tech team, the, na the list goes on and on and on. They weren't there. If they were there, I would have jammed this camera in their face and talked to them about Tiege Hanley and all that. You can, you can rest assured that nobody in my presence goes without being interviewed in that situation. It was so incredibly it was hurtful. It was hurtful and it was disgusting. And there, it's not the common, and I understand that, that everybody sort of, everybody has their, their perspective. And based on your experience, based on your, you know, what's going on in your life or your history or your, you know, ethnicity or whatever, you're going to have a different perspective than I do. And the fact that everybody who you saw at the, the, you know, the, on that last vlog is a white dude, 
It just happens to be that the white dudes applied, the white dudes got the, it has nothing to do with race. And, the, and, and claiming that, I feel like it's a, it's a cheap shot. I feel like it's a, people just drop the R word anytime they want to win an argument. It happens all the time. It happens to the media. It's crazy. It's like all of a sudden you're having a disagreement and that's the other thing. We've gotten to where we can't disagree with somebody who's a different race than us. If one of the people is a white dude <laughs> and the other person that we're having the disagreement with isn't, we're racist. It's, it's like, really? What? What are you talking about? I honestly believe in my heart that the majority of people in this country, in this world, are decent, amazing people who love each and every person and they do not judge people based on skin tone or ethnicity alone. But if you act like an asshole and you're a black guy or you're a white guy or you're a brown guy, yellow guy, if you're an asshole, you're an asshole. But this, this race baiting nonsense that's going on has gotten insane. And I think that one of the other things that bothers me is that people aren't standing up for themselves with it because it's like somebody drops it, you know, mic drop, R word, walk out of the room and the other person and, and, and the fear of being called or labeled a racist has gotten so bad because you see people rioting at college campuses and just like insanity stuff. People freak out. No, I'm not. How do you defend yourself? Seriously, how do you defend yourself out of, like over an accusation like that? How? You know, it's, 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 it's part of my French, it's so fucked up, I can't even like stand it. And this comment got me triggered. It got me triggered because, <laughs> you know, it's like, it was just, it was just insane. It's an insane thing. <laughs> it's just insane. And it, and it breaks my heart that this is where we are as a country, that this is where we are as, 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 as a world that you're assumed a racist unless proven otherwise. It's not the other way around. <laughs> there are racists out there. I mean, this is, this is, that, I know, I know some, to be honest. But the fact that we didn't show the people packing the boxes that we've talked about on probably 15 occasions, that's the reason why, like, it's like, shut the front door. Shut the front door. <laughs> and so, thank you for your comment. <laughs> thank you for all of your comments. They are always incredible and amazing, sometimes less incredible. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. <sighs> I feel good. I feel good I got that off my chest. Don't you? It's just insane. It's, it's literally, we've just gotten, we have gone insane. And I don't know how we fix it. I don't know when, I, don't, I just don't know when. I don't know how we come together and fix it. You gotta love each other, man. That's what it's about. It's about helping, it's about loving. That's it. I don't like, and I don't know. And, and it's, it, the, the, the crazy thing about all of it is that the people that are making a big deal about race are the race baiters. It's not everybody else. Everybody else is like just normal, like whatever. But it's the people that are making race. They're the people that are making race an issue. <laughs> That's it. It's like, oh, race. Like, it's crazy. But I'm a white dude. And I guess I don't understand. But I think I understand a few things. The one thing I do understand is that you're incredible and that we love you. And your skin, oh my God, are you kidding me? It is incredible. Uh, everything is good. Everything is really good. Everything is moving in the right direction. Really happy. I am tired. I need a break. When I came back from Chicago, I was there for three days. I came back, I had one day to get some work done and then I started filming an Alpha M project. Now this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today I'm filming this on a Thursday and an Alpha M project is happening. So I lose the rest of the week. And the way that my schedule is with, with content creation these days, or excuse me, it's been that way for, for, for a long time. Five days a week, five videos a week I film. And so it's gotten a little bit weird. And when I get out of my schedule, I get cranky. I haven't been able to work out the way that I had been, but 
Next week, chilling out a little bit, hopefully. Um, but you're incredible. Thank you all so much for being a part of this. Thanks for watching and listening to me ramble. If you have any business-related questions down in the comments, let us know. And next week, we'll answer some. Guys, we love you more than our double monk strap shoes.